What is going on guys and welcome to plugins and libraries videos, right? So in this video, we're going to actually add a font awesome and a Google fonts to our uh, website, right? And here you can see that I have a bootstrap template, which is I'm using a, again, a bootstrap extensions. And over here you can create just a new bootstrap template and it's ACB uh, bootstrap template. And that's going to be the extension. And over here, you can see that I have a brand new file, but you can obviously use it just by regular HTML file also, right? And what we need to do, go over here, we just go to Google and we write font awesome. Then this is going to be a web page where we need to be. We just click it over here and we just find where we have a getting started, right? So here we have getting started and these are our options, right? First, we can have a over here, if we write an email, we can just embed the code, the CDN code, then we don't need to download, but it's better if we just download, it's a little bit nicer. So if we click over here, download, which is I already did, so you can see in the finder, what's going to happen is with my downloads, you have a font awesome zip. So you open over here the zip and then you have this a folder, right? So now I'm working in this folder. So if I open it, I already pasted it over here. So all you need to do is drag this folder to your directory where you're working. And if we go back to brackets, you can see that this is going to be my folder, right? So this is already font awesome. And what they're saying is over here, just a copy and paste over here this uh, uh, file over here like this, this link, right? So we go back over here and ahead and I'm, I already wrote font awesome. We just paste. Just remember that you need to have a path, right? Because obviously here it's path to font awesome, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this. And once we actually write font awesome, you can see this 4.0 something, then it's still the same CSS and font awesome in CSS, right? And after that, we already have it. So let's check it out how they look like. So I go back over here and I'm just going to write that this is going to be I. And the I is going to have, I don't know, class. And as always, we're just going to practice with the house. So it's going to be far, far home. And over here, we're just going to close it out. And you can see that I don't have it because I actually missed over here A. And if I zoom it in, you can see that this is going to be my font awesome. All right? So I'm just going to copy this a couple of times. Here I'm going to say... A pretty, I mean, most popular ones are obviously the social icons. So it's going to be Facebook, Twitter, I mean, Instagram, Google Plus, you name it. Instagram over here like this, right? So these are the social icons and this is how the font awesome looks like. Now, if we go back over here, uh, you can see over here the packages that are actually offering with a SAS or less over here. But we're not going to cover this right now. What we want is actually these icons over here. And these are all the icons. And obviously what happens is if you press it over here, you can actually check it out how it looks like, right? And this is actually the code that should be written. So we need to obviously have this attribute area hidden. So what I want to do is over here, just copy this, right? And if we go back, I'm just going to paste it somewhere here. And we're just going to see what happens, right? So this is going to be our address book. And what else we can do with these uh, font awesome, uh, awesome icons? If we look at examples, right? We have over here a base. The fact that we have a basic icons. Now, if we would add over here this, uh, let's say large, right? That it would be bigger. And if we add over here this five times x, it's obviously going to be five times bigger, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this one over here. And I'm just going to say copy and over here, if we go back and if we just again, paste it over here, you can see that this is going to be my big icon. Now it's obviously really big because I actually zoomed in 400% with hundred percent. So it will look like this, but you can still see that it's uh, kind of huge, right? Uh, but this is going to be it for the font awesome icons, right? It's really easy to add them obviously. And it's really easy to work with them, right? It's a very straightforward process. So let's go ahead and actually work with a Google fonts, right? So another brackets extension that I really like is a over here. Let's just, I'm going to show you these extensions. The problem is that it sometimes actually takes really long 
time for them to load over here well not in this case i guess so over here i like this acb bootstrap snippets over here and this is the bootstrap starter template right this is the one where you actually create over here in a file you're here you can see a file this is the new bootstrap template this is the one right this is this is a really cool one and also this acb right so let me show you that acb with ACB, if you have downloaded that extension, you just press BS over here, three, and you can see that you have all these options, right? And what I want to do is I want to get a Jumbotron. So over here, if I just a write a Jumbotron over here like this, you can see that jump Jumbotron, and we press Enter, you can see that it's pre-done a Jumbotron, right? And we can obviously have a, let's say, BS3, and it's, this is going to be a nav bar or something like that, right? So we have all kinds of nav bars that we want, and we can also add a carousel if we want, and something like this, right? So this is a pre pretty, pretty nice feature over here. And also, what I just noticed is that we can have a animated CSS over here. So we have carousel, and we have CDN, animated CSS, right? So you can read right away see that we can actually add a animate with a CDN, right? If this is what we want. And let's go back to another, let's say, a, a container or a Jumbotron. So I'm going to say BS3 over here. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a Jumbotron. And you can see that I have both of them over here. Now, what I want to do is I want to change the fonts, right? So again, I go back to our good old friend Google. And we just get out of here somehow. And we're going to say that we want a Google Fonts. Google fonts over here like this. So now that we actually make this bigger over here, Google fonts, we can really just pick whatever you want. I mean, I really, what I do is usually just scroll down, see what I like, and then basically pick it. I mean, some, I usually go for something like this, like this Macondo over here. This would be something that I actually added to one of my uh, projects. So what you need to do is over here, press this uh, plus over here you see it opens and then it says what we need to do right so here we just copy and paste this this is going to be our link and this is what we need to add with our within our uh, font family for whatever we want right so over here again the first thing we we're going to add is this link we're going to say that this is going to be a google fonts over here like this and we're just going to paste it over here so this is going to be our google fonts so we can actually close this uh oh you know what we need to copy this so we're going to copy this and we're just going to close this one out and then let's say that we're going to add for one of the jumbotrons right let's say we're going to say that this is going to have a class of fonts and i don't want to create an external uh, style sheet so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a style tags over here style over here like this and we're going to say that this a fonts one right this is going to be the class we would want to have a font family uh, macondo right so we're just going to paste it or here you can see the difference right i have one jumbotron that doesn't have it and i have the other one that uh has it right but obviously if i would go for the whole body over here like this you can see that all my text has a, this Google fonts, right? And you saw how easy it is to actually add them, right? So this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.